Hey, Bob. Hey, Dan. Uh, Mega Man X One's one of your favorite X games, right? Yeah, yeah, I really like this one. So I, I thought we would play through it. Why not? Uh, before we send back our SCART cables to get new SCART cables. Because these aren't good enough, but we'll still show this game with them. Yeah, because <laughs> this isn't a review. This is just us playing a fucking video game. Here you go, Bob. Oh, uh, but you love the intro stage. No, I don't. As much as Eagle Raptor has a boner for it, I finally, uh, I find it excruciating, like a lot of tutorials to play past your first playthrough. Yeah. I'm like, oh boy, I can't dash. You're right, not having dash is always a pain. It's one of the worst parts of this game. These guys are cool though, you know? Yeah, it's a cool design. The fact it breaks in half and then smashes into the ground. They're not really a threat per se. No, and you would have to sit around for 20 minutes for them to destroy even a single vertical column. But you know, <laughs> they're cool. The concept's really neat. The enemy design's really neat. The idea of the level's really neat. I just don't like not having dash. Um, only we came back to the highway afterwards with the dash. Oh, that sounds that sounds <laughs> like X8. Yeah. Why yeah. do you want that? Why do you hate? <laughs> hey, you know, X8. you know what has a uh, lot of slowdown? What's that? Kirby Superstar. Oh yeah. A lot. Yeah, that makes sense. That game was all sorts of effects and junk. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, DF Retro did a review of the SNES Mini. Oh yeah. Which is Digital Foundry Retro for those who don't know. And uh, they were talking about one of the main differences between, you know, the original hardware version of Kirby Superstar and the SNES Mini version is that the SNES Mini version has less slowdown. <laughs> Which is like, yeah, that makes sense. By the way, we still have that audio problem. Yeah. I mentioned that in yesterday's Kirby Superstar video. Does it go through the com or to the uh, capture card like that too? Yep. Oh, great. Yeah, whatever. I don't fucking care. This, this isn't this isn't us documenting this game in the highest quality possible. Just damn near. <laughs> just everything but the audio yeah, it's just and like... the Luma problem. This yeah. Dan being okay with this says nothing about his opinion of X1. <laughs> You're like, you know, while well, while well, we got this, we can play uh Donkey Kong Country 2 and then I slap you. <laughs> wow, that's awful. What? It's implying like, that Donkey Kong Country 2 is, is a better game than X1, yeah. I'm saying it's a... Uh, and it has better music or anything. Well, it's like, oh wait, oh wait, hey, whoa. They're going for def very different music they styles. Are. And honestly, as listenable music outside of the context of a video game, I'm gonna say Donkey Kong Country 2 wins that competition. Because it sounds more like a soundtrack you would ever listen to. But yeah, no, I'm not saying X1 has bad music. It just sounds very video gamey sounding music. It is. Very video gamey. Oh, no, no. Sup, Boba? <laughs> he defeated me. He's so powerful. He is. You know, in his mech. Yeah. Nothing impresses me like a man needing a giant machine. But he's already a robot, man. I know. It's so many layers. <laughs> As a kid on composite video, I uh, I was certain that his gun behind his head was uh -huh. a drill coming out of his face and it was his nose or something. And I was like, oh man, that's cool as shit. He could just bore into someone's face with that. And then his profile image didn't match that. And I was like, that's or, weird. Or not. <laughs> that's okay. None of this shit matches up the art style of the later series. So, it's it's true. Like, like even by X3, everyone's drawn drastically differently. Yeah, I think even by X2, the Zero and Mega Man look pretty darn different. They do. It's true. Oh, looks like those My Life of Gaming fakers totally are are doing the Discord thing just because we started doing it. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure totally. that's it. Totally. Well, let's go to Chill Penguin. Let's just do it. Is it sad that I'm so paranoid after yesterday's problem recording this that I no. had to look back and go, Is it fucked up? It's not sad at all. It's just true. I just got scurred. Don't worry. If it didn't already fuck up the colors, it's not gonna. Okay. The vertical flip thing is real weird, though. Because <laughs> the preview window shows it upside down. Because why wouldn't but it the show actual it? recording is correct. I don't know. So if you look to the right of the health bar, you can actually see part of the problem with uh, the sync on Luma with poor shielding. There are other problems, like it could be sharper and other stuff. But, uh, you know. Like, in fact, there are vertical bands of brightness from the left side of the screen you can sort of see. Like, if you look yeah, at it. Yeah, that's what yeah. I, I noticed on here. Yeah. 
But, uh, you know, it still looks incredible compared to composite. Like fucking ludicrous. Bob, you can see the pixels. Right? It was pretty crazy. It's nuts. But uh, as it turns out, our SCART cables are not uh, coaxial SCART cables, which means they are not shielded per wire. So the Luma signal is sort of bleeding into the sync signal, is sort of bleeding into the audio signal. Sorta. Of. And, sort of. uh, yeah, that's why we gotta ship them back and give them 17 more dollars. Get an upgrade, upgrade. <laughs> Whatever, it's worth it. I just wish they had been clear right out, out the game. Like, if they had just gone, these are good if you don't need perfect video, I would have gone, well, I do. So. <laughs> So you've come. I know exactly what's happening, even though I'm in the future and dead. <laughs> even yeah, though well, I'm, I'm a gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird that Dr. Light left all these giant containers full of gummy bear versions of himself across the world. <laughs> Sigma's like, ah, drat, drat that X. I hate him so much. Wait, what is this? What is this? Is this a gummy bear? Ah. Yeah, it's <laughs> a really big one. It. I don't think I can finish this unless, unless Sigma X, died trying to eat the gummy bear dog life. Sigma comes in, or X comes in, and Sigma's like, oh, I've got a tummy ache. <laughs> I'll get you, X. <laughs> and then X rolls him off a cliff. <laughs> and, then, and then it's just the ending scene that's already in X. <laughs> he just rolled him off that cliff and stood there. How many more Sigmas must X roll off a cliff? <laughs> Only the buster on his hand knows, because it's psychic or... Essentian or something. I don't know. That always bugged me as a kid. Like, super duper 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 bugged me. You know the funniest thing about the video quality we're putting out now? What's that? This, there's, there's like no display on the market that deserves it. <laughs> so these videos will continue to look better as displays get better. And that's cool <laughs> as shit to me. Um, because I tell you what, we've been running YouTube channels since 2007 and that was not true of those back then. <laughs> hmm. This looks, uh, bad. Uh, this still looks bad. Now this just looks embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, at a point, like, YouTube, like, wouldn't even let us upload decent-looking stuff at all. Yeah, yeah, it took until, um, let's just say last year for them to up allow a quality I was okay with. And then people tried me for it all the fucking time! Oh, They're like, why do you upload in 4K? I'm like, I don't know, why do you like dog shit? <laughs> But you know, whatever. He blocked it. <laughs> cold penguin. Yes, yeah, snake. Cold penguin. You totally got his name right. <laughs> I'm really good with names. No, no, you aren't. <laughs> Chili guy. <laughs> it's you, Frosty Bird. <laughs> 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 yes, Frosty Bird. A fridge fell over on him and he had to eat his way out. So wait, he just really likes ice cream? Uh, yes. He's, uh, he's like vamp, but Damn, diabetes. That time he didn't even want to fight back at all. Like, I feel like sometimes... Are you I get... sure that you weren't just trash yesterday? Okay. Because I'm going to be real here, Bob. I was trying to be a nice guy and not laugh that whole time. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I just don't remember that Chill Penguin's actually hard and not, like, the lamest dude. <laughs> He's a pretty lame dude. He's pretty lame. Whatever, we're going to Storm Eagle. Let's, let's get on over that. Do People it. have seen the weapon power screen. Let's switch off every level. Yeah, sure. I know the there other day go. we did every other, but... Why not? It got weird. <laughs> and then once we get to Sigma's thing, we'll we'll just keep trading per life, because that's fun. God. Sigma's levels. What? Oh, yeah, no, they're the, great. The first one is... Every part of Mega Man X is fucking gold. Ask Egoraptor. <laughs> I don't know if he talked about anything about the first level. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said <laughs> Mega Man X is the perfect game. Ah. Uh, Which, as someone who's played X2, it doesn't have the hugest boner in the... Like, and I'm not besmirching does, does the X progress made by X1, okay? Mega Man X1 is fucking amazing for its time, does, right? Does X2 have the right armors or is that 3? Uh, the retarded right armor system's 3. Okay. Come on, man. All right. Jesus. Because that was Jesus awful. Christ. Yeah, no shit! <laughs> you gotta find the right one or you can't use any of them? What the hell is that?! <laughs> But man, I missed that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do. As someone who played Airport 9. Okay. Because it's 1001. 
I didn't see it. Uh, the, the thing back there on the ground, it says airport 1001. Ah. Yep. This is a cool thing. Sort of like a one-off thing. Look at me, I'm down. I don't just spam the bulls so fast that he dies immediately. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's weird. Weird. Look at me, I'm Bob. <laughs> I try hard, because I'm a try hard. <laughs> it's got good music. Yeah, like X1 has good music. It was an important uh, transition in tone for a number of things. Like, they try to add storytelling. Like, good storytelling. I mean, honestly, I, I, I think three and uh, six may have, like five, may have done better jobs with storytelling, because... I mean, because like Dr. Dr. Cossack's pretty cool. I know Dr. he's cool. Cossack is pretty cool, and like that whole plot line is neat. Right. And honestly, X doesn't do that much to forward storytelling in the series. It's just a thing people give it credit for. Right. I also it's... watched as you tried to dash jump to this instead of just bouncing off the wall. Right. And I was like, okay. I guess you can make that jump. But yeah, the concept of getting the, the power-ups like the capsules. Actually yeah, I think that's really the largest cool. advancement. Yeah. Like uh, that and sub-tanks over E-tanks. Yeah. Which is an important, important thing in a way. Actually, you know, on second thought, um, I have been revisiting my opinions on that. Yeah? Yeah, because think about it. You could order, you could hold nine E-Tech. Uh-huh. You didn't have to fill them. No, it's true. So then... It was just a matter of, well, it takes away some of the randomness of that. Because... Well, I mean, generally speaking, like, E-Tanks don't drop out of enemies, Bob. They're in specific points. Yeah, I guess in that's levels. true. But then you need to go to that specific point to get it. Yeah, whereas in this, you get all the way to Sigma, and then you wipe after using two sub-tanks, and then you gotta spend a few minutes just hugging toothpaste holes yeah, in the wall. I'd rather spend too much hugging toothpaste in the wall, then leave that level, uh -huh. go to another level. You wouldn't have to, because you have seven more! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I used all nine on one run. Wow, you're dumb. You're just the worst at games. What are you, writing an article about Cuphead right now? By the way, Bob didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I had no idea. You it's could a fucking cool thing. The other way. Honestly, that's how I was as a kid. I was like, that's a platform. It's gonna work. <laughs> I was really confident on that. Didn't understand. Game making's hard. I like that his wings are doing that. It's pretty cool. It's like, you know. His usual storm, you look being a cool dude. That's basically all he ever does, you know? <laughs> Oh man, stereo sound. Wait, you shot to the left? Whatever. What? Didn't you shoot to the left? Did he. Meh. Whatever. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Oh no, you let him barf it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, ah. he was enjoying it. I see that face. He's into it. <laughs> thinks it's hot. <laughs> I love that. You destroy him and the thing immediately crashes. Yeah, it's falling. It, X takes it really lightly. It it's like, kind of it's kind of weird that it didn't do that when the wings and shit blew up, but maybe it was just too much to keep up with. Maybe. Probably like too intense. Maybe they're like, wait, no, you can be fighting for a long time. How high is this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I don't care. It would be cool as shit to fight while the background's going insane. True. So, we're going to Flame Mammoth. We okay. made the mistake yesterday. I was like, no, nah, let's do the weapon order for once. Right. And that was and that was a mistake. It was. What were we thinking? Um, we could even go to Sting Chameleon after this to get the body armor. Yeah, the body armor. And helps. then just kill ourselves until we can leave the level. Because you can't get the heart tank anyways. So you're gonna have to revisit it later. Right. Might as well revisit it with that asshole Sting Chameleon's weakness. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk. Yeah, I don't necessarily love the order you have to play this in. Like, you gotta do, here, I'll, I'll, I'll go, do go this. Go for it. Because I did a pretty good job yesterday. You did. Hopefully I can do a good job today too. <sighs> you already did worse than yesterday. Yeah. It's so, so annoying that it just doesn't, want to work right yeah like it's it has a to be really, your foot not your hand it's a weirdly tough job besides we do this on sync on luma cables right that aren't shielded right and there's yeah. some visual anomalies and the audio is bad 
That just gives us reason to do another Let's Play. It's true. We can just keep playing Mega Man X1. I'm okay with that. It's on the shorter end of X's. Yeah. Here you go, Bob. You can have that back. Yay. I do not envy you, Flame Mammoth Stage. <clears throat> can I just... No, I it's slightly too high. Darn it. But you have Chill Penguin's move, so you could make a sled and just do that, which I think is the point. I think that's the whole point of that thing. You know, you're supposed to jump on that and you wait know, for it to go off slightly. And, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll try it one more time. But I noticed okay. this time, with the better video quality everything, just how much it is just Chill Penguin laying there. Oh, you didn't notice? Like, it was super hard to tell. I could tell there I was could a tell. beak. I, I could, could tell there was a beak, and that was about it. I couldn't tell the rest of his body was also there. I love that, like, we have different things we couldn't really make out on lower video quality. <laughs> then I just act like an idiot. Well, get the heart tank since you're all the way down here anyway. Ah, sure, why yeah, not? Why the, why the fuck not? You were like... Yeah, one panel thing away. You know what I hate? Hmm. Sub tanks that don't fully fill your health, which is all of them. They fill it to two lines below the max. Just don't get all our tanks. <laughs> then I don't get the Hadoken. I know. It's... Or as you kept calling it, Hud. Matoken? I, I said Hatoken once. Hatoken. Because it was hilarious. I was like, Hatoken black guy. <laughs> It, it just occurred to me as like, oh man, that seems like something they would say in a really bad Street Fighter anime movie, right? Like yeah. an early anime? Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Storm Eagle! All right. You have his move. The world is your bitch. <laughs> he'll, he'll get up eventually. <laughs> it still says E, but then it says sub in the start menu. Or at least... In the later ones, it does. You know what's a pretty good game? Maybe even better than X1? What's that? This is a loaded sentence. Clearly, a lot of expectation has been put yeah, on Yeah, seriously. Chrysalis. That's a... Chrysalis is a great game. I feel like that's a wholly different genre, even. Uh, yeah. So it's Donkey Kong Country 2, you son of a bitch. You're like, nah, they're both normal platformers. X1's about grabbing the bananas. <laughs> Collect the tokens. Jumping on enemies! <laughs> They're at least most platformers. Oh, okay. That's I won't go any farther than that, but they're <laughs> most platformers. Well, games. you literally can't. <laughs> They're 2D. That's a genre. <laughs> you know what I fucking hate? And I don't know if this bugs other people as much as it bugs me, but it really drives me goddamn insane. A lot of games that are being covered by websites nowadays are indie games because, you know, quadruple A and the fallout of the middle tier games, right? Yeah. Um... I hate when game journalists sit there on a podcast and they keep talking about a game and they won't just say what dimension it's in up right. front. Like, I, they keep describing it and I imagine, like, low-rent 3D game. Mm -hmm. Then turns out to be, like, 2D. And I'm, I'm pretty upset. You shoot it close enough, it, it hits twice. Well, yeah. It's good for maximizing damage, bro. Yeah, I don't have that problem because luckily I, I don't listen to any game podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, but like then you, then it's like, well, I don't have a problem with game journalism because I don't interface with game journalism. Right? No, it's it's <laughs> just I consider myself lucky. I try my best. <laughs> that was your hashtag blessed moment. Yes. <laughs> hashtag blessed. I don't listen to you fuckers. <laughs> you Did he just refer to all game journalists as you fuckers? Oh man, Black is that <laughs> Wait, is that what? Okay, that's Tosha's T for McAllister's. I thought I thought Eric left it here. Do 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 do. We were supposed to hang out with Brad tomorrow. Then we made plans with Steve to play Gran Turismo on his TV. Here you go, Dan. Do 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 do. Whoops. Oh no. <laughs> um. So this is what you cut your losses, and you just go b back to the normal way. Because either way, you Flame Mammoth. He was supposed to go Storm Eagle, Flame Mammoth, Chill Penguin, Spark Mandrel. But yeah. Well, actually, yeah, I want this. This want, doesn't count. Yeah. yeah. This yeah, does not count. It. Even though that takes uh, this stupid boss, mid boss, takes longer than probably the entire normal level in boss. Yeah, I suppose if you're a scrub, <laughs> you just can't do the damage. It's literally his health bar is huge. I, uh, I I could have sworn he had a weakness, but I can't remember what it is. Uh... Yeah, it wasn't Storm Eagle. It wasn't. No, lightning. it was not Storm Eagle. I think you shot lightning wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and lightning's a beautiful. See, yesterday when we were playing this last move. time. Dan kept telling me. I don't remember this. 
I think kept telling me to use this. lightning on all sorts of different things. <laughs> it never works. Lightning is, in fact, a useless move, and we all know it. You can jump on Discord right now. <laughs> and let's know. And just pull it. Yes. <laughs> if you think lightning hey, is lightning fucking useless? Oh yeah, we have a Discord. We should probably start putting that in the descriptions of all of our videos. Maybe. Definitely. Because that's what people do. They either sell access, like uh, those sellouts at my life in gaming have done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love those guys. Like they've done really important work. Um, and that's why I like them most uh, more than I like most YouTube channels. It's really funny. People are like, what sort of gaming YouTube channels do you follow? And I'm like, I hate most. <laughs> Please stop asking. PewDiePie, I'm just such a racist. I finally feel represented in online media because getting onto Xbox Live was too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finding any any game currently active in an online multiplayer yes. shooter on Xbox Live or PlayStation Network, yeah. very hard. Or Overwatch on the wrong day. Oh man, did I tell you about that time where I was like stuck in a room full of like 14 year olds? It was awful. I guess they could have been like 16, but whatever. Point was, you could tell they just had no idea what funny meant, and they were just saying things, and it was, oh, it was bad. They were like yelling constantly because yelling high pitched is hilarious. Uh huh. Um, and then one of them just busts out the N word, and another one busts out faggot, and it's just like, oh my god, <laughs> just saying these things isn't funny. You get that, right? You can't just. Huh. You can't say an offensive word without any context or meaning to what you're doing with your mouth and be like, I'm a funny guy. And I'm like, thanks, PewDiePie. <laughs> Which, of course, blaming him is, you know, ridiculous. Right. There's always been unfunny children assholes. Yeah. That's like most of humanity. Well. <laughs> I don't know. What happened? I don't know what happened there. Uh, I'm, I'm going for a record. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to start my run on Spelunky. <laughs> you know, Spelunky's a fun game. I never understood the huge amount of crazy it got, though. Huh. I, don't, because, I didn't like, find it very fun when I played it, but... Well, you were playing it with Red. Oh, that might hurt that, it, yeah. That guy's a sociopath. <laughs> he just wants to whip you down into a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. Cywolf just sent me a sentence that doesn't quite make sense, but okay. <laughs> Fair. It's his right to do that. Yeah, as executive producer, he can text me at any time. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't have my phone number. That would be a funny tier. Yeah, it would be real. <laughs> Double executive producer. You can get my phone number. Isn't that fucking funny? <laughs> like, I want to talk to you is in tiny text. <laughs> God, that'd be a weird tier. Jesus. I, I wonder I if anyone's done that. What, like, double executive producer? Like, no, just any tier where they give you, you give them their your phone number. Like, your personal phone number. Bob, and I'll get doxxed. <laughs> you know, Patreon just now added the feature, or at least as far as I know, just now added the feature where it'll charge someone when they first sign up. So oh, yeah? they don't get free fucking content and then get to unsign up before charge time comes. Huh. Why did that take so long? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Why? Yeah, that's kind of like the cornerstone of their business. I need to get paid for my content. <laughs> Speaking of which, after this, we need to finish that uh, Patreon behind the scenes video. Oh, great, man. The one that needs like one shot. Yeah. And is mostly edited aside from that one shot. Okay, there, good. Uh, that only took forever. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Good okay. choices were made. I, th I think we have got time for a spark mandrel yeah. in this part. Yeah. Why not? Everybody loves 50 minute long YouTube videos. Everybody. I'm not looking at a timer, I'm just guessing. So what's all this? Plus it's cool to it's see like the piece of the ship because okay. it crashed. You yes. never got that? So that is the, the that Storm is Eagle the ship. ship. Yeah, Storm Eagle here. crash landed here. And his artwork on his fin stopped meshing as well. <laughs> the impact made it go partially 8-bit. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, I've there's no point. This game is over. You've played yourself, Sigma. <laughs> you know Sigma hates tornadoes. Or not tornadoes, sorry. Hodokins, way more than tornadoes. Uh, Sigma's dog sure as shit does. <laughs> it was really funny because like, like, and I'm not like trolling Bob to be like, ha ha, Bob's bad at games, that's hilarious. 
no, what the what the real thing was is Bob was fighting uh he was fighting Sigma and his dog leaps at the wall behind him because that's what the dog opens with. And Bob's like, ah oh, shit, the dog's behind me. I gotta dash forward. So he dashes forward and then the dog just like bumps him. No more Hadoken. Yeah. Yeah, was sad. It, I love how they give you Hadoken in so I love how easy Sigma is with that. Right. Like, they designed the first two forms to just get wrecked by it and be relatively easily hit, right? Yeah. God, that is easier. I feel like this Let's Play is going to be, like, two-thirds, if not shorter, of the length of the other one by the time we're done. Yeah, because Storm Cause Eagle. Because we did Storm Eagle. And I just, you know, I didn't want to do the same old order. I wanted to experiment and try to figure out a, a more enjoyable way to play the game, honestly. Like, I didn't even explicitly remember, oh yes, tor Stormado Hold <laughs> is like ridiculously overpowered. I just remembered that I always did it in that pattern. And I found that, that the like you do chill Penguin and then, I don't know. I just, I don't like the intro stage. I don't like chill Penguin. Like, I don't like not having Dash for the first part of chill Penguin. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it, I it don't is, like it. It is frustrating to do that, but I mean, that was. I like how it doesn't bother me intro as much levels. It's so it's so little of the game by the time you're done. I guess I don't know. It's not like it's horrible without dash. It just doesn't feel near as good. What? The whole game? Yeah. Oh, gee, you are. Okay. Look, look at what I have to do. Okay, for one, that's happening apparently. Huh? <laughs> Bank shot. There we go. I'm just gonna do. Oh, the level's over. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm not, saying the game yeah. would be miserable if, if you, you didn't, didn't go have to dash at all. First. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's yeah. You're it's not fucking miserable. It's just what you're supposed to do. They put it right in the middle of the level. They don't I know. Let you miss yeah. it. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. it was it's an integral. With, it's, it's, with, with this whole new system of the capsules, and they didn't really know that. Oh wow, we built a lot of the game around this, so we probably should have just given them that. You're right. They really figured I mean, that back. You, you think they would have stuck it in the intro level? It would have forced them to. Give you that power up. Yeah, I don't know. And then you would have had to, like, they have to force you to do it. Like, there would have to be no way to miss it. Because right. you can't revisit that level. Right. I think you can in Maverick Hunter X. I could be wrong. Maybe. It just seems like a feature they built in for no reason. Yeah. Because there's nothing there. It's a there's cool looking street, okay? There. It's a cool looking street. It's a street. The background's neat. It's not a terrible looking level. Right. By no means the next seven level. <laughs> Basically nothing is. I mean, it is literally next seven level. That's that's a thing. But <laughs> yeah, in X one it looks way better. <laughs> so uh, join us next time when we continue to play this twenty year old game. Did I say twenty? I meant twenty three. Twenty three year old game, even older in the future. As it turns out, that's how time works. Whoa. And we will continue to enjoy this and not record as many Mega Maker videos, which will make someone upset, I'm sure. This visual audio internet transmission was brought to you by our Malflorious executive producers. Vincent Boverk, Nicholas Cameron, Peter Meekum, Ely Broyles, Unit Number 2, Joshua Mattingly, Shane Warden, and Cywolf, who's a good boy. And also these guys. Head on over to patreon.com slash gigaboots and become one of these names today.